a very important question. Are you really somebody named Monica if you don't have 12,000 friends t-shirts? Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today I'm double fisting. I've got some water, this hydration, I've got some coffee, cause sanity. Like how cute this is, I got this from Amazon, which is actually quite appropriate because we're doing a full face of Amazon makeup today. And then I got this one from Kroger. If you didn't see it in my vlog, it's in there and you should definitely go check out my vlog. Yeah. So, like I said, today's video is an entire face of Amazon makeup. Now, what I mean by Amazon makeup is not necessarily Amazon brand makeup, although I think that would be ingenious if Amazon themselves came out with their own brand of makeup. But what I am talking about is brands of makeup from Amazon, like from the app and the website, that I've never seen anywhere else. So I was really creative. I did some serious research. I got products I've never tried before and products that I can't really find anywhere else except for one that is a Palladio product and you can find Palladio at Sally's Beauty, I believe. The rest of them are pretty much Amazon exclusive, at least from what I can tell. So yeah, I have an entire face. If you guys are excited to see a full face of Amazon makeup and what I think of it, then just go ahead and keep watching. So I have an entire box of stuff in front of me. I'm super excited actually because a lot of this stuff had really good reviews. I'm pretty pumped. Obviously, if you know me, I'm gonna start with eyeliner. This is a broken record, I'm sorry. And what is the first eyeliner you think of when you think of Amazon? House Laboratories. Or as Kathleen Light says it, House Laboratories. I decided to go ahead and pick this up because I've never tried it before because this brand came out and I didn't review it on my channel. I'm pretty excited. I really hope I like it because I accidentally ordered two. Well, I knew I ordered two, but it said that one wasn't delivered and I was getting reimbursed. They, they lied because I ended up getting it and then I didn't realize it, so I bought another one. <laughs> so I really hope these work because if they don't, then I'm just gonna be stuck with eyeliner I hate. Of course, you know that everybody raves about this eyeliner, so let's just see what I think of it for myself. Here's what the packaging looks like. Very Lady Gaga to me, very geometrical. That reminds me of her. I actually really like how sleek it is. It is a felt tip. It's quite a hefty and long felt tip. So we're gonna see about that. And I'm just gonna go ahead and start applying this. Wow, that is really black. Yeah, that was super easy. It's really black. I didn't have any problems with it skipping or anything like that. I really like the way that looks and it's drying down to a satin matte, which I really like. So I'm gonna just go ahead and go on to the other eye. I'm not doing a wing today, as you can tell, but I am gonna try a wing with this because I've heard this is a perfect eyeliner to do a wing with. So I will try it in the future and then keep you posted in like upcoming videos. Yeah, this is really nice. That was one of the easiest eyeliner applications I've ever had, so it's a good thing I like it so far because apparently I'm stuck with two now. I think I'm gonna list the price of each product on the screen as long as I can still find it. You know how sometimes Amazon like sells random things and then stops selling random things? So, but I will try to put it on the screen and also in the description box. This is $20 and it's really, really nice. I love it. I love it. Next up, of course, is mascara. And I actually got a French mascara. It's called the Vivian Sabot Paris Cabaret Artistic Volume Mascara Premier. Premier. I'm sorry, I do not speak French. I'm not even gonna pretend like I know what I'm talking about. But this one had, all of these products had really good reviews, so I'm pretty pumped about it. This one had like almost five stars. I think this is a beautiful package. I haven't opened it at all, like to see what the wand looks like or anything like that. It's supposed to have like really nice volumizing capabilities, so I really hope it does, because we all know that I like some really natural looking lashes. But let's look at the wand real quick. All right, it's very small. It's actually very similar to the mascara wand from the Essence mascara I used for my Jessica Braun video last week. So let's just see what this does for me. It's not adding a ton of volume on that first coat, but that's typically the case, but it is adding some length and it's definitely very, very black, which I love. I like the way that looks on my lower lashes too. Yeah, it's really lengthening. There's a little bit of volume, but not a ton or anything like that. So you know me, we're gonna go in with like 10 more coats. I love this package. It actually feels pretty high end in my opinion. Love how black it is. That looks really good so far. 
The volume is now coming in to play. Length and volume A plus so far. I am gonna of course build up the volume more because I really like some thick looking lashes. You never understand how people can look cute putting, well, make them at general on. Like Kathleen White's has this really cute face. She's just like so like cute and I'm just like, it's really attractive. I think what's really impressing me is also the color. Like it is the blackest mascara I've ever seen. This is what they look like after three coats. I like them a lot. It's super black, super lengthening, pretty volumizing. I really, really like the way this looks. So far, so good. So I was able to find an eye primer and the eye primer I got was the Thank Me Later Eyeshadow Primer by Elizabeth Mott. This is what the outside looks like. It is just a typical eye primer. It's not like the Makeup Revolution Core Primer that I use, which has color. I think this one is just gonna be more of a base itself and not really like a corrector. But I do like these, and this one had really, really good reviews. So let's see what it looks like. It's pink, kind of like the same color as this. One that's a really good eye primer in this format, like the one that doesn't have really any pigmentation but is really good at like really holding on to your eyeshadow is the Milani eyeshadow primer, and this has the same consistency as that. So let's see what it feels like on my eyes. It's been a really long time since I've used this kind of eye primer. It really does feel like that Milani one, maybe a little bit stickier. As it dries, it really starts to feel like it too. I typically do navigate towards ones that have like pigmentation, but that's just because, and I've mentioned this like three times now, my eyelids are very veiny and I'm very fair, so you can really see the pinkness and the veininess of my eyes. So far, so good. Let's do the other eye does feel a lot like that Milani eyeshadow primer, just the slightest bit stickier. So I did pick up two different eyeshadow products. I picked up the Lamora Nudes Matte Eyeshadow Palette. It looks like this. It's matte, very neutral, very up everybody's alley. And then I also picked up a single shadow by Annabelle, and it's in the shade Taupe. Very creative. And it's supposed to be like a little metallic-y. We're gonna see how I'm gonna use this because I thought this was supposed to be lighter. It looks lighter in pictures. I'm gonna go in to the Lamora palette and grab this shade bare right here and mix it with warmth down here and kind of tap it off and set my eye primer and also try to like neutralize. All right, so now that I have that all neutralized and ready to go in with some actual color, let me see what I want to go in with because I definitely want to use this like maybe on my lid or something. It might be a smoky kind of day in my super casual t-shirt. So I think I'm going to go into nature, which is this shade right here and take that on my crease. This had really good reviews. I actually have an eyeshadow palette by Beauty Glazed from Amazon and Beauty Glazed is one of the best eyeshadow palettes in general. It's really good and they're really inexpensive. I really like the way this shade is going on. That looks nice. So now I'm gonna go into this Real Techniques brush and just kind of blend it out, take any harsh edges away and all that good stuff. So far these eyeshadows are nice. So next I'm gonna go into the shade Latte, which is this almost like purple undertoned brown. I'm just gonna take it on the same brush. I wiped it off so I didn't have any of the other eyeshadow on it. And we're just gonna go on the very outer part and bring that in about halfway to where we took the other original shade. I like purple eyeshadow, it brings out my eyes. I'm gonna go on the other side so I'm just kind of continuing to build it up in light layers on both eyes because I do want it to look just a little bit smoky. It does have some fallout as you can see, but I always go in after with foundation so it fixes that and everything. But I am letting you know it doesn't really bother me, but if you don't go in with your eyeshadow first, just be aware. Very, very soft and pretty. Now I'm gonna go in with the same Real Techniques brush and blend all the shades together so there's no harsh edges or lines. 
continue to blend it. I just want to show you there's a ton of fallout in the pan, but honestly, I really like the way these eyeshadows apply and perform and everything. So the fallout really doesn't bother me. But once again, if you apply your eye makeup after your face makeup, it is something to be aware of. So far, so good on this one. I like it. It's small enough to travel with, but you have a large array of colors to work with. Now I'm going to go into the Annabelle Metallic eyeshadow. This is what it looks like. It might be a little dark. I don't know. We're going to work with it. It's also in the shade Taupe I mentioned. So let's see. It's a little bit darker than I normally would go on my lid, but you know what? It's fine. And just go on the lid with it. It's not metallic. Like there, it's trying to be shimmery. It's not. You see that? I mean, like it's really actually kind of hard to see too. Well, this definitely wouldn't be my favorite eyeshadow I've like, ever done. Might have to put like a little bit more of a gray tone on my outer part, so it kind of goes with it. Moving on the other eye. This one is really soft, but not extremely metallic. In the picture on Amazon, it looks way more metallic. And I wanted to order like a shimmer because I was ordering a matte palette. So, I mean, it's a little shimmery, but it's not exactly what I was expecting tone and shimmer wise. I think I am gonna go in with a different color on the outer part again, just to see, cause it's not really like going together. I mean, I, I feel like my eye looks bruised. <laughs> it's not super shimmery or anything, if you can kind of see. It's not bad, but I do wish that it was more true to like what I was expecting the color to be and expecting the shimmer to be. It's not bad. It's not my favorite either. Let me see if I can go into another shade in this palette. I ended up going back into the latte shade. This is looking really weird. Like, it's not bad, it's just odd like every time i was going in with this one the annabelle one is like disappearing even though i'm not really going into like that area i don't know man i'm gonna go back into the annabelle shade and just kind of try to put it back where it was before i somehow managed to make it disappear i might want to go in with another browner shade with a little less purple to it I don't know. Gosh, this is like super weird. I'm gonna go into the shade Classic down here. I have a cool tone brown and just maybe see if that helps. That might be helping a little bit. Yeah, I think that brown was the answer. It's just kind of helping this eyeshadow look meld together. So I'm going back into that animal shade and just hitting the center. This is definitely a darker look than I'm used to. Okay, so I just spent about 20 minutes trying to fix the eyeshadow. This Annabelle eyeshadow is extremely odd. Every single time I was trying to blend stuff over it to make it look like a little bit better and just, I don't know, just a little bit more my speed, it was like blending away. So I finally got it towards like, it's okay. It's most definitely not my favorite eyeshadow look. I did like this palette a lot. It is quite powdery and there's a lot of fallout. So if you don't like that, just be aware. But I liked it. So that was an interesting process. I will use that matte eyeshadow palette at the end to kind of define my lower lash line and see if I can, you know, make it all like a nice little smoky moment. Now it is time for face products. I did get a primer. I said that like that was shocking. <laughs> it's not that shocking. Got the Soje. S-O-Z-G-E, so J Face Primer. It's oil-free, smooth, lightweight, and long-lasting. That all sounds great. This is what the bottle, of course, looks like outside of the box. And it's a very small little tube, so let's just see. It's pink. It looks nude on there, but it's more pink in real life. It's very gel-like. So I'm just gonna like kind of dab this all over my face, what in the, oh man. This was like my grandma, like, and not, you know, not in a good way. <laughs> okay, so I'm just like smoothing it all over my face, like I normally would. It literally smells like my grandma's bathroom. It feels really good. It seems to be applying very similarly to my e.l.f. Luminous Matte Primer that I really like and raved about for a long time. I'm just trying to make sure all those little poresies are getting all filled up. I like the way it applied. Primers are kind of hard, as you know, to see how you feel about them right after applying them. 
So I'm just gonna see how like my foundation works and stuff and if it breaks me out, which I hope nothing from this breaks me out. So far, so good. It's a little bit tacky. It's really all I can say right now because I don't have anything on top of it. Oh no, I had eyeshadow brushes from Amazon to use with this and I forgot to. Well, that's okay. I'll do them in a, like an IGTV or something. I'm planning on doing some of those or like future videos because uh, I saved them for this video, but maybe that would have been a disaster with it because the eyeshadow was already just so much fun to begin with. Man, I hate when I do that. The foundation I got from Amazon is the Boera Soft Matte Long Wear Liquid Foundation. It's supposed to be full coverage, naturally flawless, oil controlling, and lightweight feeling. Oh, interesting, they're not called the directions, they're called the directs. It says directs. It says you always shake before use to activate. What are we activating? Okay. It's supposed to provide medium coverage with one pump and then you build up from there. Here is what it looks like outside of it. Hopefully this will be a decent match. I actually think it'll match my arms pretty well. And this is in the shade 102 Nude. So it was like, I think $8. How much is in here? Because I remember saying, I mean, it's a full ounce, but everybody was saying that this was like not enough for what you get. But a full ounce is pretty standard, so I don't have any complaints. So I have my face palette, and I mean, I'm just gonna pump this out. This is a plastic bottle, it's got a pump, which is nice. And we're just gonna see kind of what we're working with here. Oh, nice, it's got like a little closure, so when you like travel and stuff, it doesn't come out. And then like now it's open. Okay, cool. That's nice to know. Very thick and moussey. I'm just gonna kind of mix it up on my palette and start applying it with my Tati Beauty Blendiful. Of course, hashtag not sponsored, hashtag wish it was. Have a clean part of it. I did use it the other day, but it is clean on this side and let's just see. It doesn't really smell like anything. Not a bad color match. It's got pretty nice coverage off the bat. Like it covered up my acne scars pretty nicely. I have a little pimple coming through. Yay. And I mean, so far it seems to be applying nicely. I really like the way that's looking. I think it's oxidizing. Yeah, it's only oxidizing like the slightest. See, that was just like what I put on and it's getting darker. It's fine, we'll just drag it down my neck so I can walk into the living room without shame. Really, really nice coverage. I didn't read any reviews where it said it broke anybody out, so let's hope it doesn't break me out. So I am gonna go in with a second layer just on some parts of my face to build up the coverage and of course drag it down my neck because I'm turning a little bit orange. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Does anybody else think this foundation like is like different colors on my face? Like it's really oxidized. A lot. I'm looking a little Oompa loompa today. Oh my. Foundation is not matte. It is extremely dewy, in my opinion. And it's not lightweight. I can totally feel it. I feel extremely sticky and I feel like I've been sweating. So I like the coverage. I'm not the biggest fan of how it's feeling or how it's looking right now. I just look super orange, which is really annoying me. And it looks like I have a mustache right around here. Like I have a goatee of like weirdness. So we're gonna see how this works out for me, but I do have a concealer and it is the Sace Lady Pro Longwear Concealer. I have tried one Sace Lady product like three years ago. It was supposed to be a foundation that was waterproof. It wasn't, it was also really sticky. Gosh, I just can't get over the fact that I look like I have a yellow goatee. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have a bad makeup day. I haven't worn makeup in like three days. Here is what the concealer looks like. Really pretty packaging, just very plain, but elegant looking. I got it in the shade 03. Oh no. I'm hoping maybe this will lighten my foundation. It's kind of yellow. And I'm just gonna run it under here. Gosh, I feel extremely sticky. Why am I so orange? Thomas, come here. I'm gonna go ahead and start blending this while I wait for him to come in. So I'm gonna ask him if he thinks it looks like I have an orange goatee. Huh? Let me ask you something. What in the world? What? Does it look like I have a yellow goatee? Uh, 
Like, what's wrong with my face? No, oh my god, it's like you look so orange. Like, I know, it's, no, it just gets it keeps it's getting like, worse. It's like super freaking glowy. No, it looks so I hate this. No, it's like this it's is just, awful. It looks like you're wearing a mask. Like, I like know, but like mask let me show you. Like when you first put it on, look how white it is. Come here. Before it changes color. Look how white it is. It just it just keeps getting like, orangier and orangier. Yeah, honestly, that seemed kind of dark to me on there. Yeah, but it's better. What is going on? Every time I look at it. That's terrible. Oh my gosh, I don't even want to wear this for the rest of the day. I'm supposed to wear it for the rest of the day. Oh yeah, I want to take it off. It's you so. Review, you could just review it, but like, I just hate it so much, right? So I'm going to take it off, actually. I don't even know how it can redeem itself. Like, like when I look. Oh, oh my gosh, come here, come here, come here. Wait, like, your no, skin come here. look at I know, no, come here. Look, it's like cracking right here, and you can see my actual skin color. I know, babe, this like, is so bad. Like, look right there, like it looks like you put somebody's face over yours. <laughs> it's like it's so bad. I never, I've never had a foundation do this. Look, look, come here, come here. Look at this. I know, I see that. Yeah, it's very bad. <laughs> <laughs> this is so bad. <laughs> yeah, they are making regular points. <laughs> I think I'm gonna take this off because I want to see how everything else like performs. I would take it out. This is this is bad. I don't think I've ever had a foundation be this bad before. It's pretty rough. So you obviously heard Thomas's opinion. This is awful. I'm taking it off. And the reason why I'm taking it off is usually I would try to, you know, power through, but it's starting to burn and smell. And I, I can't get over this. Look at this. Look at this crack. It's shiny. It's sticky. It's itchy. It's burning. So I'm taking it off because I want to see how these other products work. And so I want to use the foundation I know works. Don't get this. Save your money. Don't get this. This is awful. Oh my gosh. I'll be back. I'm going to throw some foundation on like that I actually like. And then we're going to jump back into all the makeup. So I went in with the Shein foundation and it's obviously looking a lot better. I really like this foundation. I actually have been using it a lot. I just really could not seriously record a video with that foundation on that I was wearing before. So don't even bother with this. This is probably by far the worst or one of the worst foundations ever. I did, however, use this primer under it to see, you know, how it works or whatever. And I'm gonna go in with this. I might just match, that's okay. And just take it under my eye. I don't mind when my concealer matches my foundation. I used to, but then I started realizing that I don't care that much. So I'm just gonna take this and put it under here. That actually has like a perfect match with each other, which I am totally fine with. That's nice full coverage. And I am gonna go in later and kind of blend this out so it is not like a sharp line. That happened because I had to take my other foundation off that hopefully I can return. I really like that concealer. It looks really good under the eyes. Definitely my speed, full coverage, but dewy and not sticky or heavy. I'm gonna do the other eye. So I just finished with the concealer. I really like it. Now that I look less oompa loompa -ish and I've got some concealer on, let's go in with some powder. I have this loose powder and this pressed powder. The loose powder is by Ubub Crystal Soft Powder. I, it's in Chinese or something. And the pressed powder is in Palladio, it's a rice press powder and I've never tried that, so I'm pretty curious about it. I am going to go in with the loose powder under my eyes and in my smile lines. Comes in a package like this. And it's pretty light. I got it in the shade 8810. It was their second to lightest shade, I believe, but it's pretty light. I'm taking it in the lid and just mixing it up and everything. I'm gonna make sure I don't have any creasing anywhere. I'm gonna go into the Real Techniques sponge and just take this under my eyes and all that good stuff. So while I let that sit, before I go into my pressed powder, I'm gonna go into eyebrows. And I actually did find an eyebrow pencil in Soft Blonde, which was surprising to me. It is interesting looking and I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. Oh, we'll see. Seems like it's gonna be like a pretty good match. So let's just hope this works. I'm not usually the biggest fan of actual pencils like this because then you have to sharpen them, but it was the only one I could find that wasn't one I've already tried before and was also in a blonde shade. It's not a bad shade match. 
yeah, I actually really like the way that looks. That actually looks pretty good. I'm excited about that. Now I'm going to kick off this bake and hopefully it'll come off pretty well. And then we're going to go into the Palladio setting powder. I'm going to go into the Palladio pressed rice powder. Go in with my e.l.f. brush and just start tapping it on my face. I'm just like powdered. So I like it so far. No complaints really. No weird smell. So of course next we have bronzer and a contour this is called the what up beaches matte bronzer by elizabeth mott and this one is the bys contour trio this looks more like maybe that could work as a bronzer it's coming off more orangey but like it's very huh contoury all right you know what let's just see this contour shade right here is quite dark so I'm gonna go in with a really light hand. And I'm gonna go in, of course, with this Sonia Kashuk brush and just dab it and tap it. I like the tone of it. It is very dark, so if you were fair, be careful. Let's see if it kind of blends. Yeah, that actually looked pretty good. Yeah, look how close those shades are to each other though. Maybe I'll go in with this one. Let's just see. All right, now I have to blend it away. It's going on very stripey, and then it looks like a contour. I'm gonna go into that bronzer from the BYS palette too. Okay, I mean, I'm gonna use this as a contour in the future. It's just not really a bronzer shade for me. So I'm gonna try to get my brush into this shade right here, which is the bronzer in this palette and just, wow, that kicked up a lot. All right. So I'm gonna blend this. Um, these are both extremely pigmented. This is more of a contour shade. I'm just gonna let you know that. This one I liked. I do think that these are really small and tan. This contour is nice, just going with a light hand. I mean, I got it to work. It was just a little bit more pigmented than I was expecting. I am gonna go back in to the eyeshadow palette, the Lamora Nudes palette, and just take some on my lower lash line. And I'm gonna go into the shade Nature, which is that first one we used before everything went not so. I'm just gonna take it on my flat top elf brush and drag it under my eye. The last thing is lips. So I did pick up a lip liner. It's really small, so I really hope it works because it'll be great to travel with. And it's just the Eternal Automatic Lip Liner. This is the only lip liner I could find that I don't own that sells on Amazon. So it's a retractable one and I love it. I I actually really like this lip liner a lot. If it holds the lipstick in, I'm definitely gonna repurchase that. That makes me excited because the rest of this video has been very back and forth. Now I'm gonna go into a liquid lipstick and it's the Mommy Makeup Stay Put Matte Lip Cream. The Mommy Makeup brand from what I've heard, at least on Amazon, is supposed to be like for moms, obviously, and it's like supposed to be long lasting or whatever. I picked it up in the shade Twiggy and it's just really pretty, so I really hope it goes well. But it's also supposed to be kiss proof, I guess we'll find out. I'm gonna take my hair down, spray my face with setting spray, and come back and show you the final look with everything. We're gonna, we're gonna hit some points, okay? So now that everything is on, and I am somewhat looking put together, this is the final look. Let's do a rundown. Okay, bad. Hate. Hate, hate, hate. Double hate loathe entirely horrible don't buy it don't waste your money it's ridiculous save seven bucks oxidized like i've never ever seen in my life it was sticky basically the complete opposite of what it said it was gonna do so yeah liked we'll have to see how it holds my makeup in place this one i didn't like it very much i didn't hate it it just was really white and it kind of took off some areas of my face with the foundation i was able to kind of fix it with the rice powder so i appreciate that from the palladio powder a contour shade, I like the shade, so I will use it for contour, but don't use it for bronzer. Um, pretty good, 
very small pans, so it's hard to get in there with a bigger brush. I like that it comes in a trio. It's very nice and travel friendly. Go in lightly with this shade if you are lighter like I am. I like the face primer so far. I'll have to keep you updated. Like I said, it's hard to really tell on face primer off the bat, but it didn't make my skin burn or anything the second time around, so that's how I know it was a foundation that made my skin burn. Really surprised by this. Um, I like it a lot. I like the tone of it. It's very nice undertone not too warm but just perfect for like somebody who's like a blonde like me and even those of you who like dye your hair blonde i liked this a lot of fallout but i like the color scheme weird i wouldn't purchase it just because it's weird and it just broke in my hands i put it back on ish i'm holding it up with my finger anyway it's just weird it's not really shimmery and it's not quite what I, I'm, I'm probably not ever going to use this again i'm just gonna be honest I like this mascara a lot, was really impressed with it, took three coats to build it up to my desired volume and length, but it looks really, really good. I really like the House Laboratories, Laboratories, it makes me think of Ross in Friends. I really like this, actually for a felt tip, it was really, really nice. I don't hate felt tips, I just prefer brush tips typically, but I really, really like it, really black, satin matte finish, really nice. Concealer, I really like this actually. I like this eye primer, not my typical go-to because it's not like one that covers, but I do like it so far. I'm gonna do a check-in later tonight. I was gonna do like a wear test, but that was for the foundation mostly and I'm not wearing that. So I'm just gonna do a check-in tonight before I take it all off and let you know how everything wore and all that good stuff. But I like it, so let's see how it holds on to eyeshadow. Love this love love this so far so i will let you know how it holds the lipstick i'm gonna try not to reapply the lipstick today but love the tone of it love the fact that it's small and love the fact that it was inexpensive so far really like this mommy makeup lipstick i like the color of it a lot it's very much my speed so far so good i will keep you updated on that I will see you guys later in my check-in. I hope that this video was entertaining for you. So it's the end of the day and I am about to take my makeup off and do a face mask. So the eyeshadow wore really well, no fading or anything like that. So I like the eyeshadow primer and I like that one matte shadow palette. The contour and bronzer stayed pretty pigmented the whole day. It didn't really fade or anything. I like the eyebrow stuff a lot. I actually think I could like see myself using that some more, even though it is a sharpener or so pencil. The liquid lipstick did come off a little bit, but I didn't reapply or anything, and it did last before I ate something, which was pie, okay? I ate some pie. Um, it did last uh, for about six hours up until then, because I ate pie about an hour ago, and I really liked the lip liner. I'm definitely gonna keep using that. At the end of the day, I like the way that these products were minus the foundation and a couple of little hiccups here and there throughout the actual you know first impressions part but the end result is pretty good so i would say it was relatively successful once again minus the foundation part um i did like the way the primer looked under the foundation so yeah i like that so far but i'll keep you posted on all of these products as i continue to use them and try them out so if you liked this video and the hilariousness of this video then give it a thumbs up hit that notification bell down below and subscribe if you aren't already i hope you like these kind of videos because i have a lot more full face of dot 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 videos coming in the future so yeah i will see you guys in my next video and i hope you have a great day bye